of our space. I would have slapped the little crap out of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they want, darling. Give them a reason to keep promoting and spewing their hate. You know, darling, rise above. You rise above because they can get around. They can get along without promoting their hate crimes. They can get away with it because the authorities look like they do. Just, just forget them. Just. They make me so sick sometimes. No, 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 no. We're not going to go with that. We're not going to say that. Just because of one idiot, you can't go saying that all black people are the same. That's how hate is created and strengthened. I know the right. I don't really hate them, but black women are difficult. No, I have a lot of my guy friends. There you go again. Done, 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 done. You can't say that all black women are difficult. Look, look. You don't get along with Uncle Bill and his family, right? You hate him, and he's done more harm to you and your family than any black person has ever done to you. But you don't judge all white men by the relationship you have with your Uncle Bill, huh? Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Do you think black people are superior to white people? I do not, no. Do you think white people are superior to black people or any other race? No, I do not. You see, look, it's like this. So many people are so angry with their own lives, and, and they come from such toxic environments that they never escape their hate. They never get away from it. I understand. I guess you're right. As long as none of us stays outside of our race, then it doesn't matter. I, I, I'm not saying that either. What I am saying is this. I just don't have the effort or the fortitude to fight battles that I, I care nothing about. I, you know, look, I don't see how these race wars really benefit anybody anyway. Look, let me tell you something. I have met some mighty dumb white folks, and then I have met some mighty amazing brown-skinned men. You know, you know, the thing is, all they want to do is keep us divided. As long as they can keep us divided, that's all that matters to them. The, the big corporations or the millionaire boys are Listen, darling, if they couldn't divide us by the color of our skin, they'd divide us by the color of our eyes, or maybe the size of our bodies, or maybe even the texture of our hair. Well, not mine, but yours. You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you don't hate black people? God, no. For what? And let that deteriorate my practice? And my overall health? Darling, I don't have that kind of energy to, to expand. Hey, I hate Joe Biden. I hate Donald Trump. Hell, I hate Hillary Clinton. Shit. I hate Obama. But I'm not going to make him a spokesperson for an entire race of people. So, have you ever dated a black woman? Yeah, I dated a few. Yes, yes, yes. We had our different views on a lot of things, but they were good women. They came from great families, and their families treated me like family. Wait, when? Before mama or after mama? College. And after college. Why didn't you marry any of them? Oh, darling, your grandmama. She was always worried about what it would say about her and what the rest of the family was going to think about her. She always be saying stuff like, think about what you're doing with that girl. And think about what you'd be putting that child from being brought up biracial. You know, I, I got to tell you, I, I never thought it bothered me, but I somehow subconsciously sabotaged those relationships because of it. Yeah. Wow. I have no idea. But mama was your true love, right? Oh, darling, I love you, mama. But your mama and I got married for the wrong reasons. We did what our parents wanted us to do. We did it without even realizing we were doing it. And, and you know, because <laughs> you know, it was a rushed marriage because your mama got pregnant with you mighty damn quick. And, you know, speaking of marriage, you know what? That's one of the most important things you ever want to do in your life. And you know what? When you finally make that decision, it should be made by you from your heart and not by other people's limitations on themselves.
and I'm going to do the right thing. Despite the fact <laughs> my buddy Rodrigue, he reported another guy for abusive and foul behavior. Huh. And uh, well, let me tell you this. They fired my buddy, my colleague Rodrigue, they fired him. They put the other cop on every day leave. My boy didn't get death threats. He thinks he's from other officers. Can you imagine that? <sighs> You know, I, you know, I, I, I gotta tell you, I know, I, I always believe that not all cops are bad, but also I wonder sometimes, how come we never hear about the good ones? Or are there really any good ones out there? I'm a, Listen, man, it's, it's the media. It's the media. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, they're owned by the five same people. Yeah. When they need to divide, when they got something going on. You know, they just send it out to the media, the media trickles down to the journalist, and the journalist is doing their job. You can't read really it, you can't shoot the rest of it. You understand? So, this is how they create that division between their viewers, you know, and put fear in their hearts. You know, it's true, you know, I, I want to channel CBD news, and you know, I have yet to come across a story that I can feel good about sharing. You know, it's all so scripted and, and so targeted. That, that's the reason why you can tune into five different channels at the same time, and it all seems like they're conversing with each other <laughs> verbatim. Yes, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Five, three, four. Uh-huh. Got you. Copy. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Copy. Have a great day now. Ma'am, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just heard word back that uh, there's nothing in the manual that states that, and um, I don't think you have the right or the authority to call the police out here for something so simple. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to need to get over your name in a second. I'm going to need a little report. Wait a minute. You gotta be kidding. I mean, you're going to let these white people have fun and enjoy themselves while I'm distraught and face some possible divorce? I am miserable. And you let these white people getting all down and having a good time. Listen, they are a hazard to the city as well as the country. And I am afraid for my life right now. We got, we, got, we got to do something about this. We got to put these people in their place. They should have stayed in slavery. They are. Look at me. They are part of that. Young man, I'm sorry, this is despicable. You don't speak for me, okay? I'm an officer of the law. I'm going to uphold the law. Not been for my benefit or for people that look like me, okay? I'm an officer. Listen, are you kidding me? Really? Well, I want you to remember when this city goes to shit, I want you to remember this. I try. And you want to be helping. Now, I want you to ask my mother. I'm going to a high level on this one. You done mess with the wrong one now. Here's our card, ma'am. Um, do what you have to do, but please. Give me one second. Let me speak to the gentleman over here. I'm gonna leave your name. And All right. All right. Wow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that was thank you. Anyway, now, please don't take a personal. Some people are just on different ends. I don't know what's going on. I'm used to. I'm used to the past. Uh, you know, I gotta say, I pity you guys because I know what it's like. I don't know what it's like being in you exactly, but I do understand. I am out of touch, right? Um, but y'all can get back there anyway. Oh, man, we got, got some chicken, got some burgers, I got some hot dogs. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I smell ribs? Oh, my God, you sure do. That's my daddy's special recipe that's been in my family for five or six generations. And you know, you know what, all of a sudden, would you like to stay and eat? Come on. You're welcome. <laughs> it's been good to have a friend, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Riff. I love Mr. Riff. Yeah.